is probably because of <laughs> Sue. <laughs> because of who? We're back again to play some games. We are back with Dangerous Fellows and boy, y'all, Scarlet is dead dead. She wasn't taken out by a zombie. I didn't kill her. But she was murdered by somebody in this group because somebody took her back to her room. Who knows where her room is? Somebody here. She is, dang, she is dead dead. So now there is a murder among us. Before we start, make sure you follow me on my social media. It's always in the description below. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get started because, uh, uh, it's crazy. Episode eight. Oh, let me check my, uh, what we got going on. Ethan is really high and Harry is really high. I'm aiming for Harry, but I also really like Ethan. So, we'll see. Let's start. Scarlet! Darn it. We all rush over to Scarlet. Scarlet, are you alright? Oh my gosh. Kelly starts back in shock. That's not a good sign. I walk close to her. And I grab her arm. No. It's cold. Scarlet is dead. Why am I crying? Um, <laughs> why are you crying? Tears shut down my cheeks. She's gone. No, you're kidding, right? Haley, what the heck are you crying for? Shakes head. Oh, I don't care. It's shocking, but I don't care. Scarlet. We are all utterly shocked and devastated. Mm, devastated? Shocked? Devastated? Mm. She was with us a few hours ago. I'm totally wired out and I can't even stand straight. It's alright, Lauren. Someone puts his arm around me and comforts at me. It's ha oh, it's always Harry. Thank you, Harry. Other guys rushed in as they heard us crying. Oh no. What happened to her? Was it a zombie? Sue asked as she watchfully looked around the classroom. Ethan kneels right in front of Scarlet and carefully examines her body. Zon freaks out and dashes towards Ethan. Hey! What the heck are you doing? I grab his arm, I block him, stop his eye on. Stop it. Stop it, Zion. What? Zion is stunned at my firm tongue. He looks straight into my eyes, filled with hatred. What the? Was he, about, was he just about to snap at me? I felt weird about it. But I decided to brush it off and turn my attention back to Ethan. As Ethan moves the body to look for any traces of zombie attack, the lifeless body claps on its side. She's got something in her hand. Ethan tries to open her fist, and there he finds Zion's student card. What? What the? Oh right, she asked me. She asked me why was she holding it then? Why was she holding it in her last moments? Oh right, she asked me for it a while ago. Okay, relax. 
an awkward silence falls. Obviously, everyone's suspicious of Zion now. Okay. How about another quick search around the school? For what? Yeah, a zombie might have snuck in. No, I don't think so. You scatter to search out the school. But there was no zombie to be found. Three days later, we are nothing like we used to be. We stop talking to each other. All we do is just exchange very brief eye contact. Does Harry still talk to me? Does Ethan still talk to me? You guys. Lauren steps up and breaks the awkward silence. We can't be like this forever. We gotta live too. It's not like we've never lost a friend here. Eugene cuts Lawrence off. So you're saying we gotta get along with a murderer? Lawrence has a point. But I know we can never be the same. There's already a thick wall of distrust between us. I wish I, Harry, don't blame yourself for anything. I wish I had Harry Mummers. Obviously, he feels very guilty. I shouldn't have brought it up and made her feel so scared. It wasn't your fault. She's just a weenie. He's probably referring to the hairpin incident. No, you didn't. You did what you had to do. Oh, I'm using a hint because, yeah. I want that affection with Harry. Give me that. No, you did what you had to do. You said it yourself. You did it to end un unreasonable suspicion among us. It was for everyone's good. And I still believe that. Thank you for saying that. It means a lot to me. I just want it to be all gone. All the hard feelings between us. I know. As Harry and I continue this conversation, Lawrence looks pretty calm. Too calm. Eugene continues venting. Now I'm thinking, yeah, I totally, <laughs> I totally forgot about Judy. <laughs> like, we haven't even mentioned her for a while. I forgot she even existed. Now I'm thinking about Judy's disappearance is no coincidence. This is really freaking me out. I don't know what to do. Eugene looks totally wrecked. Eugene, what? Are you gonna stop me this time? I, I agree with you. No, I agree with you. I couldn't even sleep for a second because I'm too scared. But arguing isn't gonna solve the problem. It's only just aggravate, it'll only aggravate the situation. I guess so. Honestly, before you came here... Before she came here, what? How are you gonna finish that sentence, Eugene? Please don't... Eugene, please don't act like Scarlett because that's what she... That's what she said all the time. Before you came here... Because you came here... Ever since you came here, all this weird stuff has been coming on. Has been going on. Don't start, Eugene. I know what Eugene was gonna say, and I'm devastated. If it wasn't for Harry. Don't be fake, Eugene. But it's true. Eugene. I said don't be fake. Yeah. It's not like he was making... Uh, hey, Lee. I thought we were cool. It be your own friends sometimes, y'all. It be your own friends. Don't trust nobody. Not even yourself. Yeah, it's not like he was making up a story. I look at Haley and she turns away. Suddenly my mind is totally blank. I feel like I can't be staying I feel like I can't be staying here anymore. I stormed out and ran to my classroom. Hey! Thud, the cat's still there. I shut the door behind me and curled up myself and cut myself up on the floor. Is it Really me? No, it's not. It's not me. 
I gotta, I gotta go pick up my bag. There isn't much to pack. I only had those buns where I first got here. They're not, they haven't gone bad yet. Whatever. Only had those buns when I first got here. Just then the door opens. Sue. We haven't really interacted with Sue that much. Are you gonna run away this time? It's Sue. She's always been very reserved and calm. And just by hearing her voice, I found myself a little bit calmed down. Just take a moment to cool off one. Okay. Sorry for all that. Back there. Sue says that it's okay, then closes the door behind her. Silence fills the room, and Sue is the one to break it. Actually, there's someone I'm suspicious of. I've been keeping an eye on this for a while. Is it Lawrence? Please say it's Lawrence. This is shocking. I'm intrigued at what she's about to tell me. You know who the murderer is then? Well, I think I do. But I need some solid ev evidence. I'll help you find it. If it's, is it Lawrence? But she shakes her head. This one's not easy to deal with. We can get caught if both of us make a move on this. So here's the thing. She sounds quite firm. If anything happens to me, it's probably because of... <laughs> Sue! <laughs> because of who? I sit stunned for a while. <laughs> Why'd that hide that from me? I'm... <laughs> I sit stunned for a while, even after Sue leaves. It feels like I've been hit on, in the back of the head. Knock, knock. Someone's at the door. What's it been, Ethan? Oh, hey, Ethan. What are you doing? Mind your business. Ethan asks with his eyes fixated on my bag. I quickly step in front of my bag and hide it. Uh, I was just... Did you have that bat? Did you have that bat when you popped? Did you have that bat when you first popped in my room? You're leaving? I don't know why, but I burst into tears. Gosh, what's wrong with me? It's okay. Don't cry. And don't feel hurt, you know, by what happened back then. I nodded, but I still can't stop crying. I don't think it was you. Thank you, Ethan. A murderer would be crying like this. Um, murderers do cry sometimes. You can never hurt anyone. His words felt so touching and warm that my tears burst out even more. As always, Ethan waited for me to cry it all out. For some reason, I felt completely embarrassed after I cried. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm always crying in front of you. Sorry. Don't worry about it. So you're not leaving? No, I'm not leaving, Ethan. No. Although it's a bit crazy out there. I'm sure everyone will get... I want to know who Sue thinks is the killer. Please tell me. If anything happens... Oh, that doesn't mean we're going to lose Sue. I kind of like Sue because she minds her business. I'm sure everything will get better soon. I want to stay. Good. Let's go back to the guys. They're all like, what happened to her? Okay, fine. I don't want someone to like that. I walk over to the window and wipe my tears in the moonlight. Just then, I see something moving through the window. Who was that? Is that a person? Y'all! Are you about to lose Sue? I 
I think she said Lawrence. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. Don't ask me why, but it has to be. He's just fake. He's just too fake. But why? Why was Scarlet holding Zion's card? Especially in her last moments. Why? There was absolutely no reason. Why would I need to have a card in my hand? Why would I need to have a student card in my hands? If I was about to die, why would I have Because I knew something was going on back, I don't know what episode it was, but it was when we were going to go look for Judy, I think, and uh, Zion was going to come with us, but Scarlett grabbed him and looked like she was about to cry or something like that, and he changed his mind, and I was like, what's their relationship? So something, something's... Something is, <laughs> I don't know. And where is Judy? <laughs> so thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my social media. It's always in the description below. And I will see you guys next week. Maybe, probably, hopefully, maybe not, probably not. Yes. Bye-bye.